Hey everyone, welcome to Nerding IO. I'm JD, and today what we're going to go through is how you can actually build your own YouTube vector store, which basically means every new video of your favorite YouTuber you can actually store and have a conversation with it. We're actually going to do this through N8N and N MCP. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to go through this together. So I really like the Boring Marketer just came out with a video specifically talking about how to do uh, award-winning ads and I am terrible at ads and terrible at marketing in general I'm trying to figure out exactly how to to do this so I'm going to use a MCP server that I made which will actually leverage uh, every video that comes out from him turn it into a vector store and then allow me to chat with it so we're going to go ahead and give this a try and I'll just kind of show you what I'm talking about. So basically I've come in here, I have a uh, MCP and now I am going to say uh, use the bar boring marketer MCP, uh, you know, the title of the video, break down the workflows, but then create them for an 8N and we'll just see what happens. All right, so it's actually going out and searching. We're just going to go ahead and say always, uh, and then it'll just keep searching. So what it's doing is it's trying to go out and find information from the database of the transcript from the YouTube video. And it's collecting all this information. It's figuring out uh, different information from, from that transcript. Uh, and it looks like it's grabbing it from Justin's ad prediction workflow. Cool, that's exactly what I want it to do. And it's pulling out the workflow breakdown, and then it's actually going out and building me the N8N workflow. Uh, so this is really awesome. Don't know if it's totally going to work, but it's still cool that it's taking the context from each one of these and then building out uh, multiple different N8N workflows. It should be noted that like in that video, they, they don't use N8N. Uh, they use like a Viz Studio or Miz Studio or something. So um, pretty cool that this is generating on the fly and that I can just like ask it questions. So I'm gonna let this run and we'll see what we come back with and then we can ask some more questions. All right, so we let this run and uh, it had to hit a pause. So go ahead and continue. But we can see that we actually have three different, oh, it's redoing the adding to this one. All right, so this finally finished. Uh, literally from the ad prediction workflow breakdown into four components, it created e, the prediction workflow in any and it created a ad prediction batch workflow and then a prediction dashboard api uh, which is super interesting even gave us the instructions of how we can actually go build this database and put it together again i'm doing this on the fly so uh, wasn't entirely sure what it was going to output this is actually pretty sweet so if I want to take a look at the, uh, the N8N, all I need to do is, is copy this. Um, and we'll pull this into to N8N and take a look. I do want to kind of show, like, this is how I'm actually serving the MCP servers. So I went through and I actually made a daily uh, embedding of every video that comes out for Boring Marketer, as well as others that I follow, and a unified MCP server. But this is how you can actually serve these embeddings uh, up. Real quick, everyone, if you haven't already, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps more than you know. Also, if you're looking for hands-on training, there's a link down below for virtual and in-person retreats. With that, let's get back to it. So yeah, let's uh, let's create a new workflow and see what this what this is doing. So we can just paste that in. So this is pretty wild. This is uh, this looks pretty close. It is 
taking the webhook, setting the variables. Let's see if we got a prompt here. That would be kind of interesting. No prompt. So we'd have to go back through and uh, figure out the, the prompt or like pick a different uh, operation. Again, we have like our database connections. So it still gave us like the, the baseline for for what we would need to go build. I would probably clean this up a bit. Uh, and let's see what we've got with the batch. Same thing, we can just copy and paste. Oh, property. All right, so it looks like there's an issue in the add. So we'll skip add to this one and maybe tell it. Oh. Looks like errors in both the other two. So probably need to go back and refine those. But uh, just to start, still, again, we've got this uh, this workflow that came directly out of the, the embedding from the YouTube uh, post. So now I'm going to kind of go through how this has actually built. In order to do this, what I'm doing is I am taking a cron job and I'm saying I want this to check every day I want to pick the youtubers that I'm I'm connecting to on a regular basis I am going to set that information this is the big one I'm actually going to write the string for how to what what videos to go back and fetch right so I can't just say oh get the latest new video you have to look back and see what's happened in the past day. And that's your check. Then you're gonna get the video ID. You're gonna do an if statement. This if statement is basically to look and see if the uh, if this is a short or not. Then we're gonna go ahead and process every single one of those. Then if it is a long video, then go ahead and get the transcript. Uh, I had to do a rate limiting delay, combine everything, because this gives it to me in chunks combine everything together, then go ahead and chunk that data back out into a vector store, save all of that information. Uh, and this chat is really just for testing, so you can actually open and uh, do like a, a test here. It's gonna connect to OpenAI. So now you have the ability to do the exact same thing uh, in OpenAI and ask it questions. So we could go back and ask the same thing. We'll probably, probably not ask it to do everything in AN, but it'll still go out and pull back from the embedding. So right there, we're actually pulling back information. So now you have the ability to, uh, it's pulling multiple times too. So you have the ability to, to actually do this in N8N. You have the ability to do it in Claude. Actually, I have the ability to do this in cursor. So if we take that same URL uh, for MCP and we go over to our mcp.json and we just say the exact same thing, in theory, this should work. And we should be able to pull this information directly into our uh, cursor. So again, cool, yeah, we're doing the search. And now we're actually able to code as well as uh, get information from the Boring Marketer uh, as we're building. All right, everyone, that's it for us today. What we went through is how you can actually automate your own YouTube vector store, as well as create an MCP chat in both Cursor and Claude, as well as NADN. If you're interested in the workflows, please remember to sign up for the newsletter. And with that, happy nerding.